What's going on everybody? Evan here from Evans Detailing and Polishing. We've got Casey from Casey's Detailing and Polishing in-house. Uh, we've been getting this question from literally everybody from advanced to beginners. Everybody wants to know the difference between a 6,000 RPM grinder and a 3,000 RPM variable. Uh, what we have today is we have the Makita GA7021. Uh, you'll be able to find these product links in the comments. Uh, Casey's going to be running the 6,000 RPM grinder on this fuel tank on that side and I'm going to be running the 9227C. Casey made me aware this morning that the 9237C will also work. Uh, it has a rubber head, gives you a little bit of added protection for if you're doing something where it's a tight spot and the, the head might bang into it, that rubber will give you a little extra protection. It's a good food for thought. I'll have to put that one in the link below as well. Uh, but what we got here we got a bunch of GoPros running, so we'll try to get you some different angles on this as well. Um, but Casey and I are going to cut and color on, these t on this tank here. Um, we're going to cut with the orange and the brown like we always do, and then we're going to swap out to the yellow and green. Um, I do have a bunch of full speed grinders, so I made Casey <laughs> drop that, and he's going to have to swap out because the uh, 3000 RPM is going to be much slower. Um, but what I want you guys to pay attention to is how much slower it is, but at the end, I want everybody to see that the finish will still end up the same. Um, you can achieve the same finish between 3,000 and 6,000. Um, this fuel tank is cold, it's empty. Um, you're going to see Casey's going to be able to build up a lot more heat a lot faster, and it's going to take me a lot longer to build up the heat with the 3,000 RPM grinder. You'll also notice that the 6,000 RPM grinder will use a little less compound as well. Um, on the 3,000, I'm going to have to use more compound because I'm going to have to build that heat up uh, with the metal over time. It's going to take me a lot longer to build that heat where the 6,000 will do it pretty instantaneously. Um, I'm going to try and edit this as smooth as I can. Bear with me. We're getting better with our editing skills, but um, we're just going to jump right into it here and see what happens. Uh, once again, Casey's going to be running the 6,000 over here, and I'll be running the 3,000 over here. Um, let's just get into it. Of course, grab our respirators, ear protection for Casey. And here we go.
looks pretty close, huh? Mm -hmm. I'd say maybe yours has a little more heat in it. I should have maybe cut mine a third time. Oh yeah, you got way more heat in your side. If you feel your side versus this side. Yeah. You got right a lot more heat transfer. Yours yeah. is about half higher. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, so I don't know how well this is getting picked up in the camera there. Um, but Casey's side has just a little more depth and clip. I wouldn't say more clarity, but a little more depth. Um, that's probably the better way to put it. Um, they both came out crystal clear. I think neither one of them is better in clarity. Um, but the 6,000 RPM, that extra heat definitely gave it some extra clarity. Um, that extra clarity, well not clarity, the depth. Probably the best way to say it is depth. It's got more depth. Just looks a little darker and richer in color. Um, but they both, they both did really well. Now all we did was this little panel, and as you saw, Casey ripped through his side in what, probably two minutes faster than I did on my side? The video will be able to tell us for sure what it was, but maybe two minutes faster. So if you're doing an entire fuel tank, it's gonna save you 10, 15, 20 minutes. And on rougher, yeah. rougher fuel tanks, it'll save you an hour. Um, just by being able to build up that heat faster, and especially when you sand. Anytime you sand something, it takes you twice as long to cut it. Um, and the variable takes you <laughs> triple, four times as long to yeah. cut it. It's extremely long. And on a variable, a lot of times I find myself having to jump up in stiffness too. Like if I'm working on something that's sanded, and I go to buff it out with a 6,000 RPM grinder from something that's sanded, I jump straight into an orange buff. I don't know about yourself, but I always jump into an orange buff off of something fresh sanded. I know you said you use red once I in a while. I use red quite a bit. I know when I, use, when I used to use a variable, I always had to go one step stiffer to kind of compromise the difference. Since this tank wasn't too bad, we could both start with orange. Um, you probably could have started with a yellow with a brown and jumped right. into a yellow with a green. This tank's pretty decent. This is one of our training tanks that we work on. Um, but with the variable on something that's a little rougher, I would have definitely started with a red uh, stiffer, comp uh, stiffer buff with a brown compound just to kind of get where I wanted to be to match what I would be getting with a 6000. Right. Still jump straight to the yellow with the green to color, um, but I would have started stiffer for the cut. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this answers a lot of questions for a lot of different people. Uh, once again, the grinder is a GA7021. That's a 6000 RPM set speed. Um, in the manual it says 6500 RPM grinder. Uh, Case, if you want to grab yours, you can see the difference in size. It's definitely bigger um, sideways. Uh, Weight-wise, it's about double the weight of a variable. Um, and variables are safer. Um, I can say it a thousand times, but um, we spin 6,000 RPM on everything except for our white buffs here in the shop. Um, you'll also notice that we used airways and not stitch buffs. Stitch buffs should never be spun that fast. They should be uh, spun way slower. Um, but I was using the 9227C Makita. You can also use the DeWalt models. Um, I'll have those in the links as well if you're a DeWalt guy. Um, but we like the Makitas, they're a little lighter and a little more agile to get into. And I feel like the speed stays more consistent. So thanks for watching these videos. Thanks Casey for helping be a part Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Been waiting to make this video for a long time and glad I got to do it with you. So stay tuned for more great videos. Thanks for watching our how-tos and hit that subscribe button below. Appreciate you.